Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to implement caching in FastAPI using Redis. First let's create a new directory. First, let's create our main.py file, and I'll do from fast API import fast API, and then I'll do app equals fast API, and uh, let's do app.get, and then All right, so our server is working. All right, in the next step, I'm going to create an endpoint. fish slash species and then read fish and uh, for the parameter we want the species and that's going to be a string and uh, we're going to make a request so I'll need the request library here and then r equals request dot get fishwatch.gov slash api slash species okay and then uh, let's do return r.json fish and then let's say red snapper all right next let's cache these results with redis i'm going to import redis here and then i'll initialize redis um, so redis dot redis host equals local host port equals six three seven nine db equals zero and uh, okay so let's do cache equals uh, redis dot get species now if it's in the cache then let's do a print cache hit and we can then return uh, uh, let's see, json dot loads so I'm going to import json and okay else uh, we'll want to make a request
um, and then we can set uh, the value for this key. So I can do an R dot text. Okay. And then I can return JSON like so. And then let's do a print cache miss here. Okay. So when we hit this endpoint, uh, we check the cache to see if uh, this species exists. If it does, then we will return that. Um, if it doesn't, then we will make the request to the API and uh, set the cache. So let's go ahead and save this and then call our API. Alright, so you can see that it says cache miss, so it made a request to this API, and uh, if we hit it again, then it'll say cache hit, and now we know that we're pulling this from uh, Redis. So if I go into the Redis CLI, and then I do key star, and I get the key, then I can see my data is there. Now, what if we want to set an expiration for the cache? Uh, well, first, we're going to want to delete the existing key here. So I'll do delete red snapper. Okay. And then uh, we can use a method called expire. So I can say redis.expire and then pass the key and then the number of seconds uh, before it expires. So I'll say five and um, so let's hit this API and it'll say cache miss hit it again immediately it'll say hit uh, which means it's pulling from the cache and now that five seconds has passed let's hit it again and see what happens and so it says cache miss which means it's calling the API in this video we went over how to implement caching in fast API using Redis and this technique can be used not just to cache data from an API, but also to cache data from a database. For more resources on full stack development, check out my website at fullstackbook.com. Thanks for watching.